to get yourself into trouble, don't you, baby? You sure know how to get me out, Johnny. Come here. <sighs> Another guy runs out of the shop, he pushes me over and says something like, you forget thousands of things every day. You'll make sure this is one of them. That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You want to get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you want to you want to smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Trevor, you been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole. Don't do it, Johnny. I told him, Trevor. I told him. We all get high. We all get high. But that don't Leave make it, it right. Johnny. Leave it. The crystal has got us, babe, but that don't make it right. Don't make nothing right. Not what you've done with me. I'm telling Johnny, leave it. I ain't leaving nothing. Trevor, I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Oh, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy. All right, let's let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him. Leave it. Leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, hmm? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh. I don't mean nothing by it, man. I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Shh. <laughs> Fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you then! Johnny! Wait! <laughs> Unless you're Terrence here and you're eating asphalt after every corner. You go OTB more than me, man. That's you letting the bikes. The bikers are meant to be over by the farm on the right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messing with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient part of you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Oh, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. All right. We follow the van back to the rest of them. Then the lost MC are out of this region for good. Oh, okay. You got him. Yeah, he didn't see that coming. The van's got to pass, but the guy's on foot. There's the other one! Now we can sit on this guy till he gets to them. A look on their faces? We scared. Hey, I'm just finishing my hair. Come in. Thank you. I'll be with you in a minute. Did you just move in? No. Why? We're steady! Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I stop. Cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ah! You think you're impenetrable? 
see how you feel when this is 18 inches deep inside. No. Get the lube. Actually, no, no. fuck the lube. Let's dry dock it. The, the world room. thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him! Close this problem right now! Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, Chief! I'm not finished with Mr. K! Hey, I got 36 flow. I got you. Funny. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go. I, uh, you go off thin cover. Fuck it. Fine by me. And the dead bodies. I'm lucky I'm not one of them. Come on. Let's go. FIB special agent, I got this covered! Detain this man! Fuck you, I should detain you, I just took a bullet from my country! Time to go, bring us up! Good luck with that! Put the weapons down, boys, fun time is over! We've got you, anti-American active! Put your weapons down, all of you! Who the fuck are you with? With me! You fucking rat, I knew you didn't have the balls for this! For the record, I'm a patriot, I love my country! Put the weapons down! Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys, the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No! Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Mike, this is your frequency. That's over in the end of the walkway, top of those stairs. I ain't... Anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. Hey, hold up, well, uh, nine. Oh, oh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> That's a start. I guess we don't have to beat you two lovers up. <laughs> yeah, good one. There you are. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. You get lost, Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Violence always makes me want to lose. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Big Let's man. get that. Oh. Oh. We had a deal. We had paperwork. Hey, fuck off, Johnny. Hey, you're a couple real badasses. Put a beat down on an old man. Yeah, we don't take that. We have a you deal okay? with them. Just about. Please. Get those millennial ass wipes. With pleasure. You fuck what? Hey, here's an old man who might hit back. Oh, yeah. oh. I tried to play nice. That's on you, dickwad. How are you meant to get out oh. of this town? I thought you were a tough guy! Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did, Virgin of the Year? Oh. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick! Fuck you, Katie! Language. Sorry, Ma. You're a moron! What are we gonna do? Is everyone in this town so dense? Of course you are! No getaway car, man! You gotta be kidding me! You don't have a car? 
I thought everyone in this city had a car. Hey, tough guy, we need a ride. On your knees, and stay down till we're gone. All right, all right, let's go, let's go, lose the cops! Say hi to Satan! What the hell was that? I said I had a score, I didn't say I thought of everything. Me. Well, you could have thought of something, a car. Everyone in this shithole city's got a car. Go back to Liberty City, you Irish brick. You know where we'd be if this guy hadn't come along? We wouldn't be sharing the take is where we'd be. We'd be sharing a jail cell. You know, I ran big time hoods in LC. We took major scores. You can't even handle a drugstore? Oh, you and your stories. Shut up about LC. Shut up about the bank job and your family and your friends. I don't care. You guys have got to settle this. How about a knife fight? Much as I'd love that, it'd mean I gotta spend more time in his presence. So can you just lose the cops so I can be done with him? Kids, all right. Drop us around the corner, we'll give you your cut. Hey, look, uh, I know I seem like a hothead and an idiot. I am a hothead and a bit of an idiot, but I work, okay? And I can handle myself. I ran with some big guys in LC, and the only guy I know over here is him. If you ever hear of something, a score that needs bodies, would you think of me? Sure thing, bro. If you're as good at shooting as you are running your mouth. There's your share, bro. Think of me. Packy McCreary of Duke's LC. Mr. Gunman, they'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. McCreary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. I got a good feeling about him. You sure this is the guy? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Yeah. 25 years ago, Jesus! You, generic goon! What was your first bank score? You know what? My first job ain't that interesting. I think I was spotting for my brother's scores in junior high. What is interesting is my biggest job. The Bank of Liberty City. Ah, shit, yeah. I heard you were part of the crew that took that down. I ran the crew. It was me, my brother Derek, God rest his soul, my pal Michael, God rest his soul, and another boy, Nico, who's probably dead too. They're all dead. Must have been jinxed, huh? All I know is I live to tell the tale. We went in, my pal Michael gets shot. I take down the hero who did it, then we blow the vault, take the money, and meet half the LCPD coming out. The cops are outside, they're in the street, down the alleys, they're in the subway. We just keep moving and shooting, moving and shooting. Climbed out the subway, found a car, and we were away. Sounds like you were the right guy to bring along on this. Let's just hope we ain't jinxed as well. Well, you'll be getting used to that. You never get used to it. Dad and I promised my agent I'd clean my act up. No more sexting for me. Wait a second. You weren't fucking in our VIP room again. Back there. <gasps> right around this corner. Are you ready to see America's sweetheart getting in the sweet meat rare, bro? Here, you take the camera. She knows me, dude. I'll keep lookout. Is that good, babe? Oh, oh, it's fantastic. Really? Yes. Oh, you're so fit. I know. I must say, for a virgin, you're really not that into this. I'm only a virgin for TV. Really? I mean, I always wash afterwards and jump up and down, so it doesn't count. What? I'm not releasing a sex tape for at least three years, unless my agent tells me to. What? I thought this... 
I love you, Poppy. I really want us to go places. I thought we could be the cutest teen couple. But, Justin, you're 21 and I'm 24. We only say we're teens for marketing purposes. That's not true. Okay. Just get on with it, will you? I'm hungry. Try pointing the There's camera towards watching. the celebrity, you idiot. Creepy. Oh, shit. Security. Aboard. Aboard. This way. Come on. Go, go, go. Security. Get your ass in the car now. They're still coming after us. Well, don't just sit there. Film that psycho slut. Damn. America's sweetheart is one angry-ass bitch. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's terrifying. It's perfect. I'll try to lose them. I was working on my quad, you idiot! Straight road coming up. This is your chance to get a good shot of her. Man, you're not the one hanging out this fucking trunk. You people are stuck! Man, it's gonna get worse before it get better. Whoa, whoa! What the hell, man? That motherfucker's right on top of us, dawg! I'm taking a sharp right! Keep that camera on her! Those two men are child molesters! I'm gonna go left and cut across the intersection. Hold on! Yeah, fuck you too, man. You have no idea what I'm capable of! Move! Come on, man! Hit the gas! This crazy ass bitch! Ah oh, shit! We got traffic ahead! Going left! Keep it steady! I will fucking destroy you! And everyone who knows you! Jesus, she's still on us! Screw this! I'm going through the construction site! Shit! I hope this didn't just turn into a snuff movie. Eh, whatever. She's fine. We'll wipe the audio. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Poppy Mitchell crashes car on drug-fueled sex rampage. Another illuminating experience, homie. Hey, well, someone's got to do it. I really don't think so. Hey, look. If you don't want to become rich beyond your wildest dreams while performing a vital public service, you won't meet me again. But then again, you're not an idiot. No, I am a fucking idiot. I guess that's her. Mr. 
Mister. Yes. Hey, Mister. You got got some junk? No. Shit. Hello. Kiflam, you have come this far, but the journey has only just begun. You waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself. I took drugs. I was in conflict. Then I discovered an incredible truth, a truth so incredible that if I told it to you now, you would melt into nothingness. You are ready, but you are not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Then you're ready. I don't know about that. The truth is incredible if you're capable of understanding it. We have your email address. We will send you an incredible education tool that will help you to unlock the secrets of the existence. That will cost as little as $5,000. Oh, 5000 What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? The price I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. <laughs> Kiflin, sister mother. Well, the price I would put on it is all the money in the entire world because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top quality research and learning by society's best thinkers for only $5,000. Think about it, Michael. And if you think too long, we know you're not ready. Kiflam. Kiflam! Okay. Michael, or should I say Zolag? What? Your real name is Zolag. You are a king. You lived in a cloud city, but evil forces came and cast you out. Now you are trapped here, but soon you shall be free. Okay. I used to be called Marnie. Now I am Shupar, Queen of the Winds. Doubting is the pathway to believing for non-objectionable persons. The literature is very clear about that. Uh. Why is it whenever people talk about reincarnation, they're always a king or a general or a famous person? How come they're never a serf or a rock or a bug? Oh, it is easy to be a doubtful antithesis, but be a thesis, Solag! These are incredible truths. I used to be lost. Now I'm the most powerful person in existence. Last night, I went to 47,000 places at the same time. Okay, this is bullshit. Objectionable persons fall at any hurdle. Goodbye. Helping higher beings is the pathway to acquiring a higher existence. I'm sure it is. You're not. But you are on the way. Some of our true thesis holders, who also happen to be top of their field actors, philosophers, and humanitarians, require cars. Oh. Can you find it in your heart to be of service? The spirits shall email you their requirements. The spirit said email. Don't be an antithesis, Zolag. Kiflom. Kiflom. Blue. Imagine if the answer to everything was hidden in this bush. Or the answer to nothing, because that is the answer to which there is no question. Ow! It just gave me a shock! Maybe Kraft's trying to tell me something. Unlimit your limitations. This technology is too powerful for human understanding. I thought I had an absolute understanding now that I am a thesis. But before you can understand your absolute understanding, you must sign up for an advanced study program. The literature is very clear on this. Hey, look, I found one! Oh, wait. No, I'm reading it wrong. Does that light mean ancient alien ancestor or low battery? Shh, Jimmy, be one with the device. Let craft guide you. That's real science. Hello, Zondar. Kiflam. Hi, or, uh, Kiflam. Marnie. Wait, I thought my name was Zolak. That's because everything you have ever thought is wrong, Zondar. 
Do you know top actor, philosopher, and environmental activist Jimmy Boston? What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Kiflam. Right. Yeah. Kiflam. <laughs> Welcome to the truth. Your thoughts are probably very confused. Chris is clear about this. Yeah, you're neither thesis nor antithesis. You're nothing, Sondar, nothing. I become a thesis, bro, in record time. So Chris said I could hunt for extraterrestrials out here using this incredible meter. This is science the authorities try to suppress. <laughs> well, Zondar, now you can meet your people. Oh. <laughs> Kiflam. 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 This area is a confirmed hotspot for extraterrestrial activity, bro. The device should light up blue when it finds a signal. Oh! Oh, oh, hey. This? It? I don't know. Shukuku car! Is this it? If there is doubt in your mind, you're an antithesis, and the metaverse will not reveal its secret. Guess we keep looking, bro. Do not despair, Zondar. You just need to try harder to rid your mind of ignorance. That's all. The meter only responds to your inner god, which must be set free to soar through the paradigms. Let it reverberate through your major organs. Resonate with your whole. Give your all to the meter. Don't stop now. I think I'm close. The Emperor has chosen you. A billion destinies in one. Sondar will be praised in the next paradigm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. So this is it, right? Do you doubt the truth? Do you? I doubt that you don't doubt. Now I'm doubting. Then the search must continue. Hey, Marnie? Shupar? This is ridiculous. Like, I don't have anything better to do. I heard that. You're being an antithesis again. This is it. I am 110% unequivocally positive this is it. Then you understand, Zondar. I understand that this is fucking it. Good. Then you know what it costs. Five grand. Ten. Whatever. Kiflam. We are all dead, and we are all immortal. Hello, Zondar. <gasps> are you ready? For what? It is today, and the tracks can be written. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. Uh, you seem like a nice girl. Objectionable antitheses are worse than idiots on a sinking ship. The literature makes that very clear. Yeah, well, does the literature make clear that you need help? I have help. I know the truth. If you want to know me, agree to pay your dues and wear pale blue attire for the next 10 days. You should get the attire off the website. It's very reasonable, right? What? Are you even capable of listening, Zondar? <coughs> Kiflum. Kiflam! Kifla! Come on! You've discovered great things! Kiflam! Brother, father, you now know we're not alone! Yeah, and you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities, like me, as people to worship and guide you to truth. Here, this is your medal for your achievements so far. Chris is very happy with you. Indeed, I am happy, Zondar. You have achieved great things. But it is as a blink of the eye. Unless you achieve more, you shall not survive the apocalypse. Chris has spoken. Kiflam. Kiflam. Zondar, you're nearly a true thesis. Your antithesis is almost quelled. Oh, I'm so great! <laughs> I'm very reasonably priced, too. Mm. Ah, to quell my antithesis. It's easy. Just bring a small donation to Chris at the Epsilon Center in the city. But first, you must wear your medal and your attire, and run five miles through the desert. Kiflam. Kiflam. That's a shame.
shame, brother. Al feels your pain. You live in Vice now, don't you? I went for tax reasons and stayed for my sanity. Sanity, bro? I hate to think what you'd be like so- Nigel! John! No. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al DiNapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Oh, me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. Mm. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin and... everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! Come on, Jock, get in! He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock! Oh, Why did you not see me? Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams! All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known! I loved him in the Redeemer. Maybe I should have driven. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line! This is turban warfare, motherfucker! <laughs> It's uncanny! <laughs> oh dear, poor Jock must think we're batty. Oh, don't be silly. I hear that behind his... Oh my word, Jock! Do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. You probably eat sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if... He wants meth. Don't get flustered again, Nigel. You'll have another turn. Glad to see you. Find out! He's going into the car park. The car park? No worries, mate. Oh, I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds charming. Just be yourself, Mrs. Thornhill. Oh, my giddy aunt. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. Do you have to lower the tone? This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunts you used to do. And we saw you're up for governor of San Andreas. That's right. In between openly attacking celebrities all over town, I'm running for public office. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. Is he going through the hospital? Oh my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Bloody hell! Such a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Let me meet your biggest fan. Ah. Oh, you're fucking crazy. Oh, it's Get off me. Uh. You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. Nut jobs. Making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah! Ah, apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock... Mm. 
Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbyes. you from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please no. I, I, I have money on me. Lots of money. Good to know, well, good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Please let me go. I thought you were a big tough action movie guy. See, you can act! Don't listen to all those movie critics! Are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun! Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless! Those fucked up parlor games, the things that woman may be due to her feet! Ah, you lucky boy! Older women are to be cherished, like a fine cheese! Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? Cars? Drugs? Art. I, I got shitloads of art! I know you wouldn't want that. Fuck! You barely know me, Al! And you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up? I'm all good. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it! They're not paying me anything! Then why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person. Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. I won't tell us so, I promise. We both know you'll go straight to the police. I won't. I fucking swear it. I could give you ten thousand dollars right now. What is that smell? What do you expect? I'm fucking terrified. Diaper Denapoli, they should call you. For your final scene. No! You bastard! Shit. Let me out! Jock, we've been worried sick. I regret to report the sad passing of Mr. Eldonopoly. Train accident. Very sudden. I loved that man. We will remember him always. The way he was on TV. Before we met him. Not that any of us met him, of course. You two enjoy the rest of your vacation. I've decided to accept your kind offer on the understanding that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you want to be returned to uh, Sir Fruitcake and Lady Screwloose back there. No, 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 I, I promise to uh, take it all. Just, just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al.
asshole. Sorry, Nikki, man. How's things? Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I got you, man. I'm big, but I'm also fast. Wake up, boy! As well, you know who I am. B to the K to the butts. Oh, yeah. I'm off getting laid, probably. So call back another time, and yes, she is a lucky lady. Hey, Sarah. Hey, hey buddy. How can I be of service? Come on. What's wrong with you? It's just some high-grade testosterone! Ah! I think I'm ready to swing some litigation. What's up, bud? How can the B-Man be of service? What a brilliant lifestyle choice. <laughs> <laughs> 